when I got down to uh, doing the wheels here, I realized this side uh, has a bearing that's bad on the back side. So I had to keep uh, working at those uh, oil light bearings to narrow them more. So I can put all four on here. Um, anyway, but I'm pretty much down to uh, just taking it apart. I got that pretty fitted. <laughs> okay, I think I'm in the picture here. This is my uh, battery charger. I thought I'd uh, try electrolysis to clean up some of the bolts I'm going to keep. Uh, some of them broke, and a bunch of them, the shorter ones, I'm replacing anyway. But I wanted to see how this works. First thing I had to do was. Uh, the power cord here was uh, frayed. I had to cut it a little bit shorter and take the thing apart. And, uh, and that 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 turned into you know an hour because there's like <laughs> there's like ten, uh, ten screws and and uh, then you had to pull all the wires on the inside. But I got it working, I think. I don't think I have it backwards. It's making sparks, so I think it's working. Um, I took. Uh, I just put this in. I took a nail and I took an old pill bottle and drilled a bunch of holes in it, so it's like a sieve. Now the nail should make contact with all the screws in there, hopefully. And uh, I got a pan, and it's metal, so. One lead goes to the nail and one lead goes to the side. I think the negative is in the middle. Uh, I might have it wrong. I'll leave it for an hour while I do some other stuff. Get more of the bolts out of the cart. They're all uh, pretty much stuck. I'll show you that here in a sec. Here we go. Anyway, some of these, when you rank on them really hard, broke because they're old and they were really seized up on these T nuts. Um, the T-nuts are uh, stuck into wood, and the wood has uh, started to rot, so uh, as you turn these hard, it starts to spin this in the wood. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, if you weren't going to try to save this, maybe I could drill some of the others out, I'm not sure. But I want to preserve where the holes are in the wood in the rotten what's left of the wood and uh, so I can make a new holes in the piece I'm going to cut off of uh, marine plywood. That's what it was rated originally. It's kind of expensive but it's uh, going to be sitting in water outside in the rain and our area it rains. Anyway, they break so if you're going to do this be prepared to have to go get some extras I had one extra from uh, from the gate, which I had bought some replacements for the long ones. I have a bunch of the short ones, and I'm not gonna clean these up. But I'm gonna toss them there. They've been used, they're shot, so all the T nets are getting replaced now, and. Uh, trip to it and those of course uh, is to uh, get a vice grip on the back of it on the T-nut somehow 
and uh, you know, once you get it clamped there, you're 50-50 for, yeah, I see I broke that too. You're 50-50 for being able to maybe get it with the screwdriver. If that doesn't work, then uh, to get some clearance, you're going to chip like half the plywood away so that you can push it in as much as you can and uh, on the nut on the outside uh, clamp on it and uh, do it that way get one on the inside and one on the outside and uh, rank on them until it either breaks or comes loose and of course you know give it every chance you can with uh, WD-40 or PV blaster or something uh, so yeah so, it, <laughs> so it's quite the bear getting these apart anyway I'm gonna get back to it uh, I'll show you later if the uh, bolts turn out right off the electrolysis so and I did get the the foot off and uh, I guess I'm gonna take the remember to label everything and put them in these anyway <laughs>